I'm gonna be showing you guys my setup for when I do my nail videos, when I do my lives. One here, and I have one in the center. This is how my little setup looks. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna be going over everything that I use to record my content. I'm gonna be showing you guys my setup for when I do my nail videos, when I do my lives, um, just products I recommend, lamps I recommend, little things here and there that can take your recording of your content to the next level. This is a highly requested video, so I decided today is the day that I finally show you guys. Also, stick around to the end of this video because at the end of this video, I'm gonna be teasing a little product that we will be dropping soon on my website. So make sure you stick around for that. Okay, so first things first, this is how my little setup looks. This is my desk. I actually got the desk from Ikea. I will put it in the description below if I can find the exact desk. I know it was pieces that we had to put together that we had to buy separately. Okay, next, you always wanna keep your polishes really close by because you're constantly, you know, grabbing for content and videos. So the only brand that I use now is my brand, Nails by Dev. I love how all the bottles look. We're starting to get so many more colors and I'm just so excited. Okay, so the first thing that I recommend is you wanna always find something that protects your desk and gives you a nice background in your videos. I highly recommend this silicone mat from Amazon. I'm also gonna link this in the description below. I used to use the white one and the white one just gets dirty really fast. It shows everything. So I was going through them really quickly, but white definitely gives it a nice clean look. And I recently switched to pink because my aesthetic on my feed is pink. So I really have been loving this pink one and it also really makes the colors like pop and it doesn't take away from your nail pictures and videos either so if you're into pink they have a pink one too next let's talk about which phone is the best to record on okay so i'm a crazy person and i actually have four phones i have the 10 i have the 14 and i have the 8 and would you believe me if i told you that the 8 is actually my favorite one to take pictures on pictures Something about after they made the iPhone 8, they changed something in the clarity of the pictures. The only thing you can't get is them crazy cool angles and like um, lenses and stuff. But for nail pictures, you don't need that anyways. I still use my iPhone 8 for my nail pictures. I spent a lot of money on the 14 and honestly, I hate it. If I had to tell you it's good for like photography that's far away or you know, if you're doing like videos, for content that are not nails, then it's good. But I don't like the 14 at all for nail content. Now we got the 10, okay? So I messed up because to be honest, you guys, I meant to purchase the 11 because actually that is what I'm recording this YouTube video on right now. I love the iPhone 11. It's amazing. The clarity of recording videos is my go-to. So I wanted to buy another 11 for backup because I need more storage and I accidentally bought the 10 and it is actually a lot. You could tell the difference between the 10 and the 11. So if I had to suggest two phones for content, I would go with the 11 for recording and the eight for pictures, period. Also, I think it's important to mention that when you record, I always have mine set to HD 60. You can turn on 4K, but it's gonna take up a lot more storage and honestly, I have found that HD does just as good job. If not, I like it better. So I always just leave mine on HD. Next up, let's talk about lighting. So I'm gonna link in the description below where I got this light and I got this light from Amazon. I also got this from Amazon. It's the Slimline Daylight Lamp. You want light source coming from two different ways and in the center because your light source needs to be balanced. Let me just kind of show you guys what I mean and how I have it set up. I have one here, I have one here, and I have one in the center. You don't want any, when you're recording, by the way, you want to turn those lights off in any neons you might have because it's going to reflect that into your video because remember that light travels. Also, when you're recording, sometimes I forget to move my iPad if it's right here out of the way because what that's going to do is the light's going to hit that iPad 
and then it's going to block and it's going to cast a shadow. So anything that you guys have in front of the lights, you want to make sure that this part is all free of anything in the way of the light source. So it doesn't cast any shadows in your recording area. Next up for a tripod, I just like to use this Ulanzi phone mount. It comes with a ring, a mini ring light, but I took it off because I just don't like, I like how my lighting setup is. So I just took off that. It kind of casts a shadow as well. Unless you just want to use the ring light, you can go ahead and do that too. Um, but I like this. It adjusts in and out. So you can extend it further and in, and then you can also raise this part up higher or lower. It's really sturdy and I just love it so much. And I'll also link that in the description below. I also keep a second like tripod. This is also from Amazon for doing lives. So if I'm recording content, but I also want to go live, I keep a second backup just so I can like hang out and interact with my followers and go live and just kind of hang out with you guys. And it's really fun. So if you want to still record content and go live at the same time, I highly suggest getting another tripod or a little mount for a second phone. Next, one of the best things that I've ever purchased, you guys, is this hand from Red Iguana. It's a fake silicone hand. I promise it'll be your best client because you can do anything you want on it, record content, take your time. If you're ever feeling creative, you can just come into your nail room and you have the best client ever. Right here, this is all you'll need. I'm going to put my code with Red Iguana up on the screen right here. If you guys ever purchase anything from them um definitely use my code to save yourself some money they also sell this clamp as you can see it connects to your desk um and it's literally held me up for a long time i did buy two backup ones in case i needed it but i haven't had to use it yet but the clamp is really really good so i definitely recommend if you buy the hand to buy the clamp as well another cool little gadget that i found recently that i love for lives and just recording videos and stuff is this little sticky tripod you just stick it to your desk and then you press down for the suction it's actually magnetic i got this from red iguana as well you can purchase the magnetic fingers that stick to this and then you just pop it on there and it makes it easier for when you're like recording content it keeps the the finger in the same spot every single time all you have to do is just take it off cure your gel and pop it back on in the middle right there and yeah it really comes in handy i love this thing and yeah you definitely need to invest in one of these because it's one of my favorite things recently else that i like to use that comes in handy a lot is my quickie cure lamp from my website um you just clamp it onto your desk or your tripod or whatever and turn it on and when you're doing like 3D gel, it's really good for like a little flash cure lamp. Or if you're doing a gel X, it's good for flash cure. Or if you're just doing tutorials and you want to quickly cure something, flash cure a little spot. It's really good for that too. If you guys want to purchase one, you can buy one of these on my website. So my boyfriend bought me this pink iPad and I use this little stand from Amazon. And every time I go live, I go on my backup account on TikTok to read all of you guys' comments and interact with you guys because we all know when we're recording on TikTok on a phone, it is really hard to like keep looking up and seeing the comments. So if I were you, I would just invest in an iPad, keep it out of your way while you're doing your nails, and then you can easily look up and see the comments nice and big. And yeah, it's definitely a must have for when if you're doing lives or just when you're doing nails, if you wanna watch a movie or watch a show, listen to music, watch YouTube, get you an iPad girl. Okay, next up we're gonna talk about backgrounds. So if you ever wanna spice up your feed or make your tutorials or little pieces in your videos look cool, there's all these different kinds of papers that you can get at Michael's Craft Store in the, in the paper craft section. Um, my three go-tos are just these two silvers and this pink, um, but there are so many different ones at Michael's and they're only like a dollar or something a piece. So I definitely recommend picking up some of those. Now listen, everybody always asks me what I use for a background for my nail pictures. And would you believe it if I told you it's nothing but a white piece of computer paper? <laughs> Literally, because I'm going to tell you this. When you're taking your nail pictures, you want everything to look bright and clean behind your nails. You don't want anything to take away from your nails. Yes, backgrounds can be cute for an aesthetic, but if you're really trying to showcase your nails, a white piece of paper is all you need. I always layer up just because they get dirty over time that you can just 
switch it to a nice clean one but literally let me let me show you what i mean look at how nice and bright and clean this looks and it's just a white piece of paper also since paper is matte it's never going to reflect any like reflections in the background so it's going to stay nice and bright and white and literally paper is the way to go okay next we need to talk about this micro lens now honestly i only really like this micro lens by the way this is from amazon also i only really like this micro lens for like really up close shots of like prepping the nail cuticle work um acrylic picking up acrylic beads like just to give it like a really cool aesthetic I don't know if you guys have seen me use it in my videos, then you know what I mean. It's just a really cool upgrade to your nail videos. It makes it look really professional. So what you do is you just connect it to the lens, which I believe is always the bottom one. And then you zoom in to around two times, two X. I don't know what that means, but on the camera, you just zoom in to like the two X and then anything from 2X to 2.5 or something like that, it, like, you gotta get really close to the camera though. You have to be like here on the camera. But if you can master using this thing, it is really cool. Another little gem that I found that I love to use around Halloween time is this little lamp from Ulanzi as well. Has all, it's, it was actually pretty expensive for this tiny little thing. Um, it has all different, hold on. Yeah, it has all different settings and different colors and different things you can do with it. My favorite personally is just like, hold on. Yeah, you can like, I don't know if you can really see. It's not really picking up good on this camera, but when you record content with it and you change the colors and stuff, it's just really cool. Another reason I have so many damn phones is because you always need one phone to like copy the image that you are painting. I also wanna show you guys how I have the camera set up when I'm recording. So I always take my mount. I'm left-handed by the way, and I keep it to the left of me. I don't know if that makes a difference for you right-handed people. I can't live in that world because I'm the weirdo who's left-handed. So I just keep it to the left of me and I throw my phone on here. I have it come out to about here. Hold on, let me lower that. I have it come out to about here so it's not in my way and I'm not trying to like fight around it when I record. Um, I have it like this. Then I have my little finger or whatever. And I just paint about here and hit record. And yeah, I always keep my lighting really close, like about here. Also for the background, you guys, you can always spice it up, but you wanna make it look cute in the back of you. Nobody wants to see you sitting around with trash and a bunch of uncute boxes, okay? Make it pleasurable to the eyes. I like to use these two lamps from Amazon. Look at that, look at that. And then you hit this little button, Love it. Attractive, cute, fancy, get you some. I really hope this video helped you guys out a little bit with your recording setup. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions, but as promised, here's a little sneak peek of what's coming soon to nailsbydev.com. Look at this, you guys. Look at this box. But what could be inside? I don't know. You're gonna have to wait and see. But you guys got to see it first. I haven't shown anybody that yet, so. If you guys did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys gave me a like, hit the subscribe button, and drop me a comment on what kind of videos you want to see me put out next. I'm, I'm having fun with this YouTube stuff. I'm having fun. And until next time, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye, guys.